So silo fillers lung. Gotta fill the silo, said the farmer who is singing and smoking cigarettes. Silos are towers used to store grain. Silo fillers lung is not to be confused with farmer's lung, which is another topic for another video. But for now, let's see what is silo fillers lung. So obviously we said farmer, silo, it's an occupational lung disease. So grain storage will produce grain dust has nitric sorry nitrogen dioxide in it nitrogen dioxide and this also can lead to chronic bronchitis and COPD so clinically as well as when you do the tests it's identical to cigarette smoking so we'll have obstructive lung disease pattern with low FEV1 FVC ratio. This is obstructive. Remember, restrictive lung disease will have normal or high FEV1 to FVC ratio. Those are the restrictive, but this one goes mostly with obstructive lung disease. So, something really odd happened to me while preparing for this video. They used to classify this disease as a hypersensitivity pneumonitis. So, it has like an allergic component to it, like extrinsic allergic alveolitis due to exposure to an antigen. Here is the grain dust. Um, however, today when I checked the Harrison's Internal Medicine, and Davidson internal medicine. They completely ignored the term silo fillers lung. Instead, they classified, especially Harrison's, as organic toxic dust syndrome. And it says, do not confuse it with hypersensitivity pneumonitis. So obviously, like there is an argument in classification. However, any medical dictionary will have silofiller's disease in it. So anyways, it will not require prior antigen sensitization. Either it's OTDS or HP, no prior antigen sensitization is needed. So the scenario goes like this. A farmer who smokes and works with silos he fills the silo, hence silo fillers lung will get lung disease, starts coughing and stuff like that. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two, farmers goes into the silo and within seconds or minutes, he start having an allergic reaction, starting coughing severely. Okay, this goes more with hypersensitivity pneumonitis. However, if it's something chronic, it goes with OTDS. That's my take, but don't take my word for it. So, scenario one, allergic component. Scenario number two, chronic process. Whatever you consider the disease to be, complications are kind of the same. We have alveolar damage. So, here is the alveolus. He's starting having the damage. Why? from the grain dust, from the nitri nitrogen dioxide, and so forth, and start creating a hyaline membrane, like this, All right? Eventually, it can lead to bronchiolitis obliterans from the toxins. How to treat? Remember the two scenarios? Let's say that the farmer entered the silo and suddenly he's having an allergic reaction, starting coughing severely, and so forth, give steroids right away second scenario if he is like chronic exposure to the silo smoking adds on so stay away from both smoking and the silo dust exposure so stay away or steroids right away that was 
silo fillers lung enjoy filling the silo just kidding please subscribe to my channel as new videos are coming every single week enjoy the day